it's Brock here with Rock Hill Farms and I just got a new dump trailer this week and I've already got a couple of things I'm gonna do for customers lined up in the next couple of weeks and I don't want the first time I try to tailgate material out of the back of this trailer to be at a customer's property so my driveway could use a little bit of work so today I'm gonna go get a load of rock in the dump trailer and I'm gonna practice tailgating down my driveway and see if I can get the hang of it. You know, your first try at anything is going to be a learning experience. So I'm back here with the rock. The loader at the rock yard did a really nice job of centering the load in both directions on the trailer. It's dead center. I watched a video this morning about safety on unloading a, one of these trailers and they were showing how if all your rock is to one side, you can roll your whole trailer, you can damage your trailer, all kinds of problems. So that's something you really wanna keep an eye on. Now, my target for this has been to have three to four tons as a maximum in it because I'm only meant to tow 12,000 pounds with the trailer. And if you put four tons in this, then you're pulling 12,000 pounds. So I asked for three tons, I got 3.7. And it pulled just fine. I didn't have any trouble stopping. I mean, I could feel it back there. Don't get me wrong, but it pulled it fine. So the goal here would be to lay a nice one inch layer smooth all the way up this driveway. That's unlikely. I figure I'm probably going to have a pile here and then maybe some gaps and then another pile and you know maybe I'll surprise myself but we'll see. So you've got three variables. Number one is how you adjust your chains which tells how much of a gap you have on your tailgate. That's how much rock can come out at a time. Next variable is how steep of an angle you have the bed at. Third variable is how fast you drive. I don't know, it's just going to be trial and error, so we'll try it right there. That's not going to let enough through. So I've got it on the 13th link of chain there. Seems like it's gonna leave a pretty good gap. We'll try that first and adjust as we go. So I'm gonna go put the other side on the 13th link. The cable that came with the trailer was 20 foot and the extra cable I bought was another 20 foot. Looked like I needed about 24 foot. So uh, now I have 40. Alright, it looks like that's a starting point where the rock is up against the gate. So I'm going to start driving and I'm guessing that the vibration will continue to knock that rock down. But if not, I guess I'd have to just raise this up as I drive. So it started off looking like it was going to tailgate really well and it actually was on one side. Right there, once I start moving, I dump a little, and then it's giving a nice, even pour on one side, and the other side's not dumping anything. I could have just kept going like that and kept lifting it, and it would have done a good enough job that I could finish it off fairly well with the box blade. But 
I was really trying to get it to pour evenly the whole time. And I think the reason I couldn't get that to happen primarily is that this is wet rock with all the fines crushed in it, and so it's sticky. So at this point, I decided to go up and get a load of clean rock and see how it does. The two options I can see and trying to decide between is having a smaller gap but having the bed steeper or opening the gap wider. For this small amount of rock, I don't know if it matters that much how well it tailgates, but I've got such a long driveway that this three and a half tons is nothing on here. So I'll probably do this three or four times and just experiment with opening the tailgate more and not having it as steep or opening it less and having it steeper. And I thought about spraying a little bit of oil on there before I put the rock in. Just something I'll experiment with over time. But mainly, if I'm gonna spread three and a half tons of rock, it doesn't make that much difference if it's tailgated out or just dumped in a pile. I decided that before I went and got the clean rock, I'd spread this out at least most of the way down the drive. So I'm starting again with a level surface. Then before I could finish that, we had some freight arrive. I had to stop and unload that. I've got over 400 foot of French drain pipe bought for different projects around the property and that's probably only about half of what I will end up running. So I already had all this three quarter inch clean rock for that. So it'll be good for comparing dumping off the tailgate. Well, that worked a lot better. So I think the problem with the first time, it's wet rock, you know? It's got the fines in it and it's been raining on that rock pile. So it just sticks in the bed more. There's this stuff laid out pretty well. I probably could have taken it back one notch on the chains and had it come out a little bit slower. But this is a lot better than just dumping it from a pile. I'm gonna go ahead and spread this with the tractor and move on to the next project. But I appreciate you taking time to watch the video. In just a minute, you'll see links on the screen to a couple more videos, and I'll see you next time.